Hey, good morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're tracking the potential for some showers and storms, obviously, this morning, but it's really the main action is going to be this afternoon. And for the first time in a long time, we actually could see some thunderstorms, and some of these storms could be strong, and I'll explain why here in a minute. Let's get right to the wider view, because you woke up this morning, you woke up the clouds and showers are certainly plenty around. I'll pause this, and you can see we've got a couple bands moving through right now, one across the Piedmont, stretches down to Augusta, Georgia, up into Virginia, we got another one in the mountains, and the cold front itself is still way back to the west. This is going to be moving in later today, and because of that time of arrival, we do expect, at least I do, that these first bands will clear out and we'll have a few hours, maybe two or three, four hours max, of sunshine or what we call kind of the atmosphere recovery. We're going to get heat humidity to build back in here, which will set the stage for the next band of moisture coming in, and for that reason, we're already starting to see the potential for maybe some severe weather later this afternoon. So what I'm going to do is turn everything off here real quickly, and we'll turn on the day one convective outlook, we call it. And you can see that area in yellow. That's the area under a low risk for severe storms today. And again, a lot of this might be mainly confined to areas of South Carolina, because that's where we expect this warm, humid air to kind of recover quicker. But it could nose up here into the Charlotte metro area. So let's get right to the future caps. All right, we'll start with 11 a.m. this morning. You see the kind of moisture over us right now. We go into the afternoon hours. This is about 1 o'clock. That first band starts to shift east, and then we start turning our attention up here in the mountains. Now, again, it's not a huge window of opportunity, but moisture starts to return here as this exits. The main front is here, and we're going to watch this line try to develop back here and then push into the Piedmont. So we'll go to 3, 4 o'clock. We get to 4 o'clock, and you can see we start to see scattered storms develop. And right there at 5 o'clock, this line, as it moves out of the mountains, kind of jumps and becomes pretty strong. And if you look at the orientation of it, it's got that little bowing shape to it. This line right here, and again, the time is right there, 5 p.m. So 3, 4, 5 o'clock, that line pushes east. That's a pretty potent line through the dinner hour. I'm starting to push east, and it's out of here. That's it. That's the only line. So you can see it's going to be pretty quick hitting. Um, we'll, we'll take the rain, but that's our main threat. The one thing about this line here, the first line today, it's it's not really bad. It's just rain. We actually need it. It's kind of light. This would actually have lightning with it and potentially a strong or isolated severe storm. Damaging winds and hail, probably our biggest issue, but lightning. Obviously, a lot of outdoor activities going on. There's festivals galore. High school football games that weren't moved are going on. So that 5, 6, 7 o'clock time frame, it should be out of here. But early, so games, you know, start the games, tailgating. You know, festivals that in early evening after dinner time, I expect that to push east fairly quickly. Now, the amount of instability is going to be the key part here. One of the cool things about looking at this guidance, we can look at the potential lightning. So this product here, when I pop this up, this is going to show the potential for lightning. So we'll go step by step here just to give you an idea. And you can see right around six o'clock, it's not huge, but right here, you can see this. there will be lightning in this. So this is five o'clock. That's that line pushing through with the lightning. So not a ton of it, but enough that it could be dangerous and certainly something we'll keep a close eye on as we get into the evening. So everything today is about this quick hitting line of showers and storms that'll be in here later this afternoon. The front itself is still back here, so we'll start watching. And again, the timing is between 3 and 6 p.m. I think that 4, 5, 6 p.m. time frame in the Piedmont. And I'm not just saying that because that's where a lot of people move, but that's actually probably where the storms will be the strongest. In the mountains, they'll be weakest. And as they get down here, they'll crank up and then push towards the coast rapidly, setting the stage for what is going to be a beautiful weekend. A little breezy on Saturday, but the weekend all in all is going to be amazing. But we got to get through tonight's storms.